y'all. Welcome back to La Cia 75, The Black Unicorn. Today I'm sharing with you the stuff I brought from the art center. Some of it I had handmade for me and some of it I just bought basically off the shelf. These two beautiful art pieces are on canvas uh, made by local artists. His name is Seth who painted these particular uh, pictures. I will be mounting them so that I can hang them on the wall. I thought they were quite lovely, especially since they had the Goner colors inside of the um, piece of art. Um, and they just are so well done. Um, it's just beautifully painted and the texture, the detail is just lovely. Uh, I also uh, bought this beautiful coaster and some really cute earrings. Some of you have seen me wear these earrings. Uh, I got my Black Girl Magic earrings, some Cory shell with leather, some elephant, and um, a little shell bracelet. And I wanted to share that. Uh, this coaster, though, is the star of the show. It's made out of ebony wood. It's like a little, I don't know, a hut. Uh, and inside of it are the wooden coasters. Uh, all of it is complete wood. All of it is ebony wood, but it is so, so beautiful. Uh, when you like look at it in person, you can see the quality and texture of the wood. And it is just one of my um, happy finds. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like it's a happy find, um, especially because it's so unique. It's not something that you would see every day at um, a store uh, per se, but I did find this at the art center, kind of shit, sitting on a shelf behind some other stuff full of dust, and they took it off the shelf, polished it up, and gave it to me. So yes, I wanted to share that with you guys. So these beautiful baskets here, I met the guy and his family that create these um, weaving. So they make the hat, the fans, the baskets, and uh, he was actually packing up for the day. And I just moseyed on over there to get me uh, to take a look. This particular fan you saw there has the eyes on it, that's like the protective eye. Um, got that as well. But I just absolutely love these handbags, they're like, they're like a farmer's market bag to me because they're they're sturdy they're big you can put your fresh produce and stuff in your bag while you're going to a, like a farmer's market it's so cute and so this is one of the places where they make the fans I just wanted to share it quickly now these trash bags and that tray set I had handmade for me from the same guy who I brought off the shelf um, items from which were those bags and those fans but I asked him to hand make me bathroom trash bins and that's what you're looking at now so what I did is that I saw patterns that I liked showed it to him and he recreated it with my colors um, so I wanted uh, two different types of colors with two different patterns and that's what I got absolutely amazing I mean this whole hand quality hand making from scratch thing that happens here in Africa is just extraordinary and when you get it you're like wow I saw a set of trays that he had done for a different uh, client of his with completely different pattern and I was like I want these trays but I want my patterns this color and I can you do it this way and he was like sure and it, in three days it was done actually I think it was done in two days but it took three days to pick it up because of time on my part but um, yeah the trays are so cute like you can use those as decoration on the wall you can literally use them as trays to store fruits and vegetables like I'm gonna do or you can use it to you know, put a plate of food on and walk around the house with your food <laughs> on your tray. <laughs> you know, you can use it for whatever you want, but I just find this so, so, so cute.
And so I was also thinking about having more of these made, but specifically so I can put my plants in them. And so the Art Center sometimes has events, and this is one of those events that was occurring. Um, this is post-COVID, pre-COVID. I, I can't even know how you say it, but I took some shots and I thought I'd share it. Mm -hmm. 